It's Andrew Reed with Mazda Creek Mushrooms. <laughs> Back from Ragnarok, right? <laughs> Let me set you guys down here. That oyster that I was just showing you, that I was pointing out to you, rather, <clears throat> that oyster is uh, codenamed the Turtle Song Oyster. Uh, something cool about that, and it's from Turtle Song Glade in Mascot, Tennessee. It's a uh, off a buddy of my property. He and I have been friends since about 6th grade. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of nice a few weeks ago. I mean, we're maybe a couple months ago, really. We were hiking around on his property, which is his property's Turtle Song Glade. And he... It's named that because they have a, a tree that looks like a tree growing out of a turtle, like the turtle singing, right? So the root structure of the tree and around the base, it's got this like turtle shape and then it has this like head that comes out that looks like it's singing and the tree going up and, um, anyways, so turtle song, we actually have a turtle song one and a turtle song two, turtle song two is gonna be named something different, but that oyster, that's the first commercial test of the Turtle Song Oyster. And here in a moment, I'm gonna take it upstairs, we'll saute some up, and I'll try it for you guys, and I'll let you know what I think about it. Um, I will tell you guys that I'm pretty impressed with this wild oyster. It's not very often that I'm impressed with a wild oyster. They, they all tend to get kind of big, they all tend to be uh, very spory, and this one does have a spore release to it. It's not as bad as a lot of spore, uh, as a lot of wild strains I've come across, um, but, it is like the same. I've tried the Sanborn oyster. I think uh, I got that from Lenny. Um, that Sanborn oyster just dumps spores like crazy. This Turtle Song oyster, um, it, it spores some. I've got some some B roll of it that I can show you, but it, it spores some. But it's not bad. It's kind of nice. I, I do this little what I call the bounce test, where I'll take an oyster mushroom and I'll tap the cap, and if it feel, has a good meatiness to it and a good bounce to it, like you can kind of feel what the texture is gonna be like just from that bounce. And uh, the stems are nice. They're a lot like an elm. Um, a little thicker, a little, uh, not tougher, but uh, firmer. A little firmer, that's the word I'm looking for. So it ends up being a really nice mushroom so far. <laughs> One Sorry. <clears throat> Laura's cleaning the grow room, and I know there's already noise here from where I'm stirring liquid cultures and everything else is going on, but uh, hey, check out that poster. Ben made that. That's the first test he did on a print. He wasn't terribly, like, super happy with the, the print, but I was like, hey, man, I like that so much. Can I have that for the lab? And he said, yeah. So he's going to start selling that artwork eventually. Um, in fact, I think he said people can go and buy it now, and I don't know. I'll ask him. If, they, if we can, I'll put the link on it. If not, then you'll have to wait till he gets a print he likes better. <laughs> but... <laughs> um, go back to the turtle song oyster. We were out walking around. I've got pictures of it when we found it in the wild. We've got pictures. It was actually found by my friend's wife. And uh, uh, she just like, oh, you mean like that? That oyster? Because we were talking about it, right? Like, what kind of, she's, cause I was looking for more mushrooms to clone. And, and she's like, that right there? And I was like, yeah. And she, from that point on, she was just finding them like crazy. We do have another oyster that's in trial right now that I'll do another video on very soon, like another week, um, and it's just pinning right now, but we're calling it the Ben Found Oyster, because Ben found it. <laughs> and these code names, sometimes they change and sometimes these names stick, like the turtle song will probably stick. I like that name. Uh, another oyster that's growing in that we'll have uh, a test on is called the Devil's Back Oyster. It came from the Devil's Back in Panther Creek State Park. Uh, I have, like I love this where I'm going out in the wild and I'm taking pictures of the wild mushrooms in their habitat. Then growing them out in the grow room and taking pictures of them in the grow room and then putting that on the website for you know our liquid culture. And 
I'm hoping to have a short descriptor, and my, my hope is that every single time I have one of these videos, I'll be able to sell that LC to you if you want it, um, and then I may only offer it for a limited amount of time. We may only do the one jar of it and then let it be gone for a long time. And that depends on what we find useful about the oyster. So, usually with these limited runs, it's a good idea to go ahead and get it if you can. Now, that said, let's get into the Turtle Song Oyster for reals, because uh, I know I'm, I've been in this like five minutes and not really gotten to it. Turtle Song is firm. The Turtle Song is producing really well. I'm getting like two and a half pounds first flush. Um, it, the, uh, it grows fast. I think that we only had it at an incubation for about 14 days before it was ready to, to fruit, so that's not bad. That's, that's pretty quick. Um, I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's on the quick side of standard, is what I would call that. And then, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, the one downside I had about it was it does spore some. But honestly, it's not much more than, let's say, it's, it's more than a blue oyster, but well less than any Phoenix or Italian oyster I've come across. Like, it's not even sporing that much. Um, so far, uh, I've had some oysters that were blotching out in the grow room, and that one has been resistant to the blotch. I've not, I put it right next to some blotch mushrooms, and that one's done pretty well. So, all in all, guys, I'm pretty impressed with this strain. I'm probably going to be growing this one out for a few tests for CSAs, restaurants, and the like. And I'm liking it better than any elm oyster I've come across. Now, I don't know if it's going to handle heat well, because it was found in December. So, it may not be a super hot mushroom, but so far it's growing really well in my room, and my room's about 70 degrees right now, which honestly, I'll keep my room 70 degrees through most of the summer anyways. So, I should be able to grow this one almost all year long. Um, because it's wild, I think it's going to be a good log strain, and uh, man, I don't know, I'm just so excited about this mushroom. Like, this one has been... It is so rare for me to find a wild oyster that I just love. Anyways, guys, I don't really have much more than that to say. Uh, we're putting the liquid culture up on it now, so as soon as this video goes up, there should be a link in the description, and you can get your own Turtle Song Oyster uh, in the link below. Uh, beyond that, guys, if you need anything, just you know, call us, email us, whatever you need. I know a lot of people are wondering if we're still in business with all this... Uh, virus stuff going on we are we are absolutely killing it so um <laughs> i don't know who that was somebody knocked if you guys uh please like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to our channel do all that kind of cool jazz check out our patreon our social media uh you can also check out my personal instagram which is myco minor m-y-c-o-m-i-n-e-r uh, we also have our official Mossy Creek Mushrooms uh, Instagram, which Samantha and Robin handle a lot, and I highly recommend for the more attractive photos than what you'll get with me. And, as always, y'all, keep spawning culture. Oh! <laughs> Drop something. Guess what? What? Petals came in. Petals came in! Oh my goodness, the petals came in. <laughs> That's for the Prometheus baggers that we've been selling. You guys have been buying baggers like crazy. Thank you for that. And what? Because it has a fancy little picture. Ta da! Oh, that. <laughs>
As for the Prometheus baggers that we've been selling, you guys have been buying baggers like crazy. Thank you for that. What? Do you have a fancy little picture?